Well, we're back here to save a few little stragglers, it seems. You know, they always need saving. Everybody always needs saving. But when you're John W., that's what you do. You save. I watched Dune 2, you know, just recently. And the music here is reminding me of it again. And um, I've got my, like, LMG M60 type of looking weapon. And it feels very nice. So I'm um, kind of excited to use it. Gravity is heavy here. I'm also very excited to be playing Starfield right now. Oh, you scared me. Oh, hey, it's you. And here I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Yes. <laughs> uh, your last thoughts are apparently of me. Uh, you see, I laugh, but I'm on a lot of meds. Kind of just mellows everything. Sounds like Aurora. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Yeah, why is this ship even crashed? Oh, I'm getting to that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, this kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these pearly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. Someone or something, er... Uh... I feel like it'd be something. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was. Smiling like it was <laughs> just another day on the job. You miss the fun part, Heller. <laughs> I mean... I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little finger gun thing. I think you are a little bit drugged out, more than I assumed. Where is Barrett? Oh yeah, probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? You did. So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay, I got this. He mumbled something to him. Then they were all gone. Wait, they took him or he mumbled something they were gone? Like he has powers in his face. Uh. Yeah. He's drugged, so well, why? I was drifting in and out. But, uh, I think I heard the word ransom. Okay. So they have him again. I was drifting in and out, but yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. <laughs> Haven't really been in a good <laughs> space to have a listen. Here you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Well, let's get you on your feet. Yeah, just uh, 
Don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Ugh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. Oh, let me see here. Can I recruit you, or do I need you to follow me? Like, which is it? Still think there might be a spot for me Ooh, on your ship? A pretty good I gotta get off this rock. Phew, oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were gonna leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? Well... I cannot even assign... Well, he's already assigned, it looks like. Oh, Samco. I can assign you to this, because I hate Samco. Wait. He's already assigned. You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. Well... This assignment reminds me of New Homestead. Boring. You, uh, you know I've always got time for you. No assignments are available. I don't understand. I guess if I get him on an outpost, maybe, but... I don't want Heller following me. Oh, he's not following me. Look at the Adorn fan. I think I need to get rid of the Adorn fan. He's kind of scaring me. Listen to the tape. Was that what he said? Source. Okay, I'm gonna read actually what the quest said because now I'm confused. Listen to emergency transmission O2. Maybe it's down here. I didn't notice if he handed it to me. But I feel like it's probably. in my inventory because it's not marking somewhere on this ship then I don't know taken then maybe Barrett can you know rescue himself it kind of sounds like he's been doing that over and over I don't really know why we're needed here maybe like Barrett's the guy we gotta put on our team he seems a little bit Han solo -y or Indiana Jonesy. You know, same person, but how far am I? Tab out, tab out, tab out. Okay, we're not that far. He seems to like save himself in a lot of bad situations pretty often. Oh, I don't need to kill you. 
actually think about ammo. Even though I don't want to. And I've got lung damage, so... Weather like this is probably not doing me the best. Well, it probably was what caused the lung damage. This doesn't look like my ship. From the back, I guess it doesn't. Hey. Captain Henry, do you require my assistance? No, you're doing great. I've got something with your name on it, boss. Do you? Am I being reassigned somewhere? I've got something for you right here. Plutonium? <coughs> really? Plutonium? Hey. Oh my. You know what, Sarah? Yes? Let's go. I'm more than ready. Let's go. Very well. Nice to see you. Are you staying on the ship, though? You better. Come on. I want to see more of the followers in this game. I just haven't seen really any besides Quest and that one in Neon. Lifting off now. At the time, and still now, I'm just not really a stealthy character. Like, even when I'm using the samurai sword, like, maybe I kill one person in stealth, and then I'm just full force in their face. Orbit stabilized. Yeah, he's pretty close. Close, right? Just a few hundred light years away, eh? No big deal. Grab drive spinning down. Systems green. Why come here? This place looks so barren. Landing site looks clean. Let's set it down. they're not already in action you know where's all the missiles that like stop people from oh, I don't know. letting ships land a few trees here and some grass there and this place might not look so awful yeah I mean it's not terrible oh my gosh but the Sun looks awesome everything is just so beautiful in Starfield Let's get some action going. Let's do this. <laughs> A little bit of recoil. <laughs> Nothing we can't handle. Oh, quick is up there. I think I know. You're irritating me. How much help do you have? Bring it on. Die! Shotgun shells are those. How are you not dead, man? I'm going to end See, like, I'm already almost out of ammo with this thing, and that's why it's just like I only use shotguns. Can you stay 
That's not like R2D2. Now I'm starting to understand why you had so much health. Grab field, yeah, we'll pop that on. There you go, here. You did get my health pretty low, we'll say. Your life is now forfeit. Well, if I can hit you. What do you got? I got this. You're dead! Go ahead. Oh. I'm surprised that didn't kill me. I was specifically going up to him with... I need to see if something's better than what I got in. Was that a weapon though? Oh, that wasn't a weapon. I was looking for a... This is what it was. What is balanced versus basic? Incoming melee damage, thermal resistance. <laughs> I just still don't think that's good enough. Well, I was specifically coming up to fight you with my sword because I was like, oh, I can't get exploded by his pack. And then I almost got exploded by his pack. Can I take a nap anywhere? I feel like I haven't slept in so long. Space Adept Combat Knife. Let's see. That's pretty good, but no. And also, in space, like, does that mean when I'm in a ship? Like, huh? Need a spot to rest. Safe. I do not really care what's in the safe. Especially if it's a novice. Crimson Fleet. I guess this is just one of their outposts then. That makes sense. But I don't know why they would make it all the way out here. Unless they're just trying to hide, but... I mean, probably a lot of places to hide in the galaxy that aren't so barren. We'll take a med pack. There's no certainty to the universe at all. Once you really start getting out there, the laws of physics kind of turn into suggestions. You're pulling my leg again, right? That's the weirdest thing you've seen. No exaggerations this time. Hmm. Let me think. Unicorn. Not kidding. Wait. The mythical mare with the magic horn thing? Come on. Was King Arthur riding on it too? Okay, it was more of an extremophile in the vague shape of a horse. But my point still stands, you need an open mind out there. You go into the far reaches of space too tightly wound, your brain is just gonna pop like a sword. Well, I think he's kind of chilling, like I said. Doesn't really seem to have any issues. I kill you. Hello. Holy shit. You actually found me. I wish I could say this is the first time this has happened with Barrett. <laughs> but, well, it isn't. Don't mind the cough. Well, this is turning into a regular constellation party, isn't it? 
I should have bought drinks. Uh, I'm here to take you home. You know, it's actually been kind of nice. Matsura the Grim here is a great host. No sense letting people's last moments be unpleasant. See, that's what I like about you, Matsura. A real renaissance man. I have enjoyed our time together, Barrett. But I can't just let you go with nothing to show for it. Is Constellation willing to pay ransom in exchange for this man's freedom? Let me see. We have some insurance. I mean, I don't really like feel like I want to kill this guy. But I mean, if they have stuff, let them pay. We do have some insurance set aside for this exact problem. Does that mean you'll be paying me, Miss? We don't need to be introduced. Here's your money. And we would appreciate it if you could spread the word in the Crimson Fleet that Barrett shouldn't be harassed. It's not working out for any of us. That's a fair point. But I can't control a man's reputation. Do what you can. A suggestion to the right ears can work wonders. Hmm. Very well. Goodbye to you all. I have enjoyed this little exchange. See you around, Metzer. Uh, I mean, well, you know, hopefully not. <laughs> oh my gosh. Israel, our business is concluded. See yourselves out. I don't want to take Got nothing to say to you. Have. Look at these armor. Metzer is in charge. You're lucky. The boss is so generous. Hmm. <coughs> I know you don't want me to kill them. But he was going to kill you. And they have good armor. That's really what's... <laughs> I want to take the armor. Ah! It's incredible. Sorry. You're pirates anyway. Give me a there. There's no way. Did I actually just kill them for nothing? The one person's armor that I wanted, I can't get to. What did I just see? Come on, I wanted that armor! <laughs> Can I force pulse or shoot this mother freaker? That is so irritating. I mean, I'm pretty sure they were like level six, so I don't think it's actually that good, but still. Are you one of the ones that had the good armor? Why can't I okay, get over here? No, she was one of the not. This brown Ravipus helmet is what I think I'm looking at. No, it's not what I'm looking at. I can't even take their armor in the first place. Dang. I really just killed you guys for nothing. What is this? What is that called, though? Stockholm Syndrome or something? I mean... These people have been harassing how many different star systems? 
mean, I've already had, like, multiple fights with the Crimson Fleet. I don't really know why I would spare their lives because they've been nice to him right before they were going to kill him. Not to mention, I almost died how many times getting here? I should have just not let Sarah pay them, though, because I'm pretty sure... I was about to give him 4,000 credits too, like, my gosh. I just don't know why I couldn't take their armor. I liked their armor a lot. I'm going to watch our six. Last thing we want is to be ambushed by pirates while we're here. I really doubt that's going to happen. I mean, we're right here. Can love my ship. Have I said this already? Probably many times. That was fun. Now what? Well, now we need to go back. How do you think this adventure is going? Great. Maybe now we can continue our hunt for relics. Because we haven't really gotten one in a while. We've just been getting a lot of Let's see what's out there. Back among the stars. No, no. Yeah, okay, we're already on this, I guess. Return to Lodge. No, not land. No, not land. Set course. As a heavenly celestial, it must feel good for you to see your family. My family? Who's my family? Jump complete. This is UC security. Prepare to be scanned for contraband. I kind of held my breath. I thought I had Aurora on the ship. I can't think of a better place to recharge and ready ourselves for our next mission. It is like a really cool spot. They put a lot of detail into this area. Sorry for the wait, everyone. Got a little held up on Vectera. Barrett, we were worried sick. Well, some of us were. I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign when he's worried. Don't start, country. Wait, is that? <laughs> and to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library shelf. Now look at them all. Looks like we've got a lot. You feel it a bit, to put in. Ever since I found the second one, I had the visions. Being around them is just comforting. So hey, I I'm still not a hundred percent, plus I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around, help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe? Uh, all right, yes. Marvelous. If you have a moment, I have something I'd like to discuss. Sorry, Sarah. I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. Okay. It's about an artifact. And our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. 
Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. I'm in. I love Neon. That settles it, then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. I'm sure we have room for you on the ship, Walter. Might be cramped compared to what you're used to, but it'll get you there. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. Let's go. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. And I'll admit, somebody in here has got to be a little bit of a traitor. Yeah, look at you staring at me. I mean, like, is there going to be no negativity in the plot? I kind of hope there is. Freaking A, my ship is always so far. I don't even really like it here. I'm going to, like... I don't know. I think that we should probably try and join the UC or the Vanguard is maybe what they're called. But I don't really like this city. It just feels eh to me. How do I? Okay, we're here. Get lost every time I okay. come. Okay, well, I've had that effect on people before. <laughs> oh my gosh! How many people you make jump off cliffs, huh, Barrett? That is convenient, but riding right after eating can give you stomach aches, Barrett. You need a cowboy hat. Every time I see that statue, I feel a little bit more hopeful. Can't really explain why. What but statue? I do. What statue? This? Is he talking about this or are you talking about like an actual person? Can a statue be more than a person? I actually don't know. Keep moving, right through the checkpoint. It's good to be home, right? Okay. Just hand me. It's just every time Sarah's with us, I feel like she's got good combo. And I like the way that she reacts and responds to things okay, still. Captain. But I also have a feeling. We're going to be doing a lot of things, things these people you, are not going to be too happy about me doing. No, no. Better. You I thought you'd never me. ask. Here. I know that's grammatically impossible, but somehow you random item, I have no clue what can help me. I'm all ears. So many people are on this ship, wow. I like how many people can be on the ship at once. Alright, we're done. 
Have a good time in neon. Oh, I will. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of Aurora while I'm here. Just a little bit. You wanna take some time to relax here, I get it. Just don't get too lost in the distractions. We have a lot to do. Just gonna do a small amount of drugs. Recreational, of course. Nah. Smell that? Construction, incense, industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm bass. What is that? A native species of fish. I often wonder what would have happened if they'd never found out about the psychotropic effects. I mean, on paper, a rich protein source is far more practical value than a recreational drug. But theory loses out once again to practice. I guess Aurora makes more sense now. We need now. to stop by the Stroud Eklund offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. So that's how drugs are made in Aurora. The fish. Or oh, wait. Wait a minute. In neon. Some kind of checkpoint ahead. Let's let them do their job so we can move along. See that huge shield? It's part of the power system. Lightning provides a substantial amount of Neon's energy. I've been here before, man. There's a bounty on you. Get that cleared as soon as possible. What freaking bounty is on me? Catherine Lou, the Astro Man. Not really my cup of tea, as it were. I'll follow you. Lead. Well, is that on the way? Hey, no funny stuff with that person. Benjamin Bayou's Tower. It's big, all right sure what else it is but it's big yeah I haven't yet to see that guy <laughs> the astral lounge spared no expense with their marketing huh well I want to hear the new music I wonder if they actually have any more like Aurora because I've bought everything Yo. I feel like getting zoned? I got what you need. You can look, but we both know what you're here for. A bit of Aurora, right? Mm-hmm. But I bought a lot. Okay, now you've got more. We'll just take two. All right. Enjoy the lounge. I will. I did not know you were right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, my brain. Oops. Ah. This place is insane. Ah. Small feelings of throw up. Something for you. You do, huh? Here, I got this for you. Thank you. I had almost forgotten I picked it up for you. Anyway, 
I figured you might have a use for it. I oh, got some ideas. I bet you do. And if not, well, you can always try to sell it. If I see anything on our next expedition to a planet, then I'll hang on to it for you. See no worse. What the freak am I getting from my followers, man? I used to be an actuary. Now look at me. Depressed. Security always hates their life. You don't think we're buying this from Benjamin? Mr. Buy Stroud, you, we didn't know you were coming in. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. You know, Mr. Stroud, you are so lucky. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Uh -huh. Isa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Wait, what? You're Walter's wife? Co-CEO, heir to the Eklund fortune. And somewhere down there, I'm his wife, yes. Didn't know our marriage was such a low priority. Oh, it jumps up the list at the right moments. Well, that's terrible. We're here on Constellation business. Ah, yes, the daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. I don't really want to embarrass Walter. He seems nice. Yes? Why are you here, Walter? The board meeting isn't for a while. Our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astral Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? Well, we were just there. A remarkably insecure location for a clandestine meeting. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Seriously, am I off to do all the work? I hate being selfish. But I would like some time with my husband. We oh, now he's your husband, huh? Authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. Giving me that smile. As if. Come on, Barrett. Yes? How am I talking to you? Okay. Right. Not interested. 
And what? I don't need to see flipping any of this. I have a shotgun and a sword. If things go wrong, I'll kill them all and I get the thing anyway. The music is amazing. Hello. You can thank me. Hey there. Can I get you something to drink? Yeah. The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is handpicked from the finest officers well, in the city. We both know how bad the security is. Yeah. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astro Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. That does seem a little high. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. Surely a business like Stroud Eklund already has VIP status. Not currently, I'm afraid. Unless you'd like to purchase it on their behalf. Can't afford that too bad. I seem to attract the types with big talk and empty pockets. Well, we're going big. A loss leader. I make you pay less now in the hopes you'll pay more over time. Hmm. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you were still interested. Yes. VIP. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Check the door control. Come back soon. Investigate the cellar. Howdy. Okay. Hello. Take it easy. If we're doing all this and it's like for no reason, I'm gonna be pretty mad. I don't think we're supposed to exit. Man, I was at the VIP balcony like every time I came here. You're out there a lot, right? In space? Just do us all a favor, okay? I feel like this is causing more problems than it's gonna be solving. Careful not to lock us out of the system. I know you know that. Listen, it's novice. I ain't worried. Give me! Oh my gosh, it's busy. Break! Get out of my way! I'm surprised there's never a line. It's like pack. Devin and Astis is running into some trouble. Word to the wise. You don't want to piece of that. Now is the time to enhance your Tevin and Astis, huh? Yep. Yeah. Well, I don't really need to do more side quests in the end. I feel like I've spent too much time here already. Like making a hey there, hey, I know you. Welcome to Newell's. You know me too, man. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Let's say you did. Information isn't usually free. Come on, man. Easy, friend. Not looking for trouble. Didn't think you were. 
he can pay you. I guess maybe I can add this to his tab. Okay. I don't know much. But I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. Let me write down the unit for you. I had to chase more zone heads out of here today. I don't think they even knew what planet. Oh, yeah. Zone heads. What was that person talking about? Larry got too much air flight traffic. Like, where could they be getting traffic? I want to explore more of Neon. Like, instead of like actually here, like the planet. People I killed. It's just novice, Barrett. To Musgrove, you might not be aware, but there's a certain item that your employer has that others have taken an interest in. Now, I know you're gainfully employed, but what's the harm in a little chat? Besides, I have some information about your career that, well, I would want to know if I were you. Uh, joking for an extent that termination notice to arrive soon. You need to think about your future and the precious few days you have left before they deactivate your security clearance. For our discussion, you need to move that item as quickly as possible. Assume you are being watched. It's only a matter of time before they come for you. All right. So they're desperate to get rid of this. I'm not sure how much longer. I don't even want to touch you people. I should be wearing a mask when I come here. I did not expect to be coming back to Neon so soon. Is everything ready? Let's go. To the Astral Lounge and our cellar. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. I don't like her. She seems like a cheater. Cause any trouble? Taking on security before you guys are weak. All right, we're here. Now, I don't know what the seller looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them, larger than normal, big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. I was really hoping for a message written in invisible ink, but this will have to suffice. Remember, oh, yeah. Ramsey and Travers will meet back near the elevator. What's up? Yeah. Be no wilds. The frick? Hell of a party, right? Dude, I saw you carrying that briefcase. 
That's so weird. What the frick just happened? Hi! Having fun? Are those drugs kicking in like Are there any side effects? Cause I saw the man with it. Lounge, or is that where we're gonna be going after we meet them? You good? I am. I don't feel like I would need to be searching you. Live it up. If Live it up. they were in the VIP lounge. Can you believe this place? Hell yeah! This is awesome! Take it easy. <laughs> hey there! Oh, Yo! What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? Analyzing gabbers. Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. We. I just saw our cellar walk by. Good job. It must be pretty fast. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that sound? Yep. Let's just try it my way first, hmm? Remember that man is selling the artifact for a reason. He might be nefarious, but he might just be desperate. He is desperate. If everyone walks away with what they want, I'll call it a success. Clearly he's desperate. We saw the flipping notes about him. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. I'll sit. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? 
grab the artifact. I know you need to sell it quickly. Oh, really? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in the fix, and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed-upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just set on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. No, you still need the money. I leave now. I can get a jump start on the people after me. Instead of you what, all wasting my minutes? time. You'd be on your way already if you just take the money I'm offering you and shut up. What's it going to be? Take or walk? I... Ah. Uh... Still a good deal, man. Fine. This thing is all yours. And all of that flipping bullcrap. Well done. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home. Shall we? I mean, he's still right here. We're going to be heading home in the next episode, though. It's a good place to end here. Thank you for watching. Peace out.